Yes, you've seen the title, and yes, I, I am actually serious. Richarlison is better than Harry Kane. Listen, li yes, yes, he scored one goal and scored a bunch of goals offside and had more yellow cards than goals. And Harry Kane scored 30 goals in a team that finished eighth. Yes, I hear you, but have you seen any of the preseason games by Tottenham? You can see that Ange Postacoglu is not like any other manager and that he wants his center forwards to play a specific way of football. I mean, um, T4 football explained it way more than I can explain it. But basically, he wants a number nine to be behind, well, a step behind or in front of the two defenders so that the um, you know the you know how possession football is like it'll start from the middle then you either go to the left or right depending on how the game is and then the right back slash winger will cross it or low cross it in for the striker to tap in so he wants his strikers to be good at tapping in and also to be pushing the <clears throat> to be pushing the defensive line you know back so there's enough space for a number eight and number one to come take over that space or to be a decoy you know he's not going to receive the ball basically there's going to be you know two defenders he'll be running then like they can literally just cross it behind him and then there'll be enough space for an eight to finish so he doesn't want a number nine who drops deep like the game against west ham the guy was playing left back eight Defensive midfield, wait, defensive midfield is eight. Playing six, left wing, even goalkeeper at times. True story, you didn't watch it, that's why you're surprised. Yes, he mid-game he exchanged gloves with Le Hugo Loris. Yeah, you have to be watching the games to see this stuff. You've no, never seen again. You won't even look, look it up, you'll never find it. But I'm telling you, look it up, you won't find it. So, he doesn't want a striker to be linking up play, as how Harry Kane is good at doing, linking up play. He is not a, you know, I'm going to stand here and wait. I'm going to wait for a ball to come to me, or I'm going to trick someone. Like, oh, I want to receive the ball. Ha, psych! No, he's not going to do that. But... Still, Ange is not going to change for Harry Kane. So, point is, Richarlison is a far better striker to play in that system because when he was subbed on at halftime against West Ham, he was doing what he wanted. That's how they even managed to drag the game from 2-0 down to 2-2 because they had a striker. Tottenham had a striker that was creating spaces in between the midfield and the defense and also pushing the two defenders in a very uncomfortable position of is he going to run is he not going to run you know he would stand even in offside positions his leg would be in an offside position but like oh wait the new rules state that that's no longer a thing oh see why richardson will be far better now he can put his entire leg offside but it's not offside Guy can have a one, two, three second head start. And he's going... Don't let's not forget, right? Last season, he scored 11 goals for Everton. I mean, the other season, he scored 11 goals for Everton. Everton. And they almost got relegated. Twice. So, this, this guy is a striker who can... And let's not forget, he scored that goal at the World Cup. Yes, that goal. So, he can score goals. It's just that the way Tottenham were playing didn't really you know that's sometimes you need to realize that players are not versatile they're not Ronaldo's or the Messi's of the world or even to some extent <clears throat> the neighbors of the world that can play anywhere no like for example Lukaku Lukaku is a Builder played, so that's why he played very well in the 2018 World Cup for Belgium. He was holding up play. He's very, he's got a very terrible first touch, mind you. But like he was with his big ass body, he was just holding defenders out and be like, eh, here you go, Hazard, or eh, here you go, Witzel. You know, like that. He's that type of player. That's why he excels in it. Giroud went an entire tournament without scoring a goal in the World Cup, and yet still was playing every single game at the World Cup. And Bob was scoring all the goals while Giroud was just the decoy striker. That is what players are good at. There's some players are just good at just being that. You know, look at David De Gea. I talked about them in the re in two videos ago. That he 
was a very good shortstopper, the best shortstopper in the Premier League. But man is terrible at his feet. And Manchester United were transitioning from a I'm going to not let the goalkeeper touch the ball at all to like what everyone else is doing, letting the goalkeeper have more touches. So that basically found out De Gea, and that's how he was even he now no longer has a job. So their players in every single position, they're just good at one thing. They're not versatile or multi-talented as other players are but that is a good thing because in a certain system they can thrive so i'm predicting that tottenham i should first of all tottenham should sell harry kane i mean 150 buying all for them 80 million pro you can use that to buy a new left back a new goalkeeper i know you bought already a goalkeeper but you're not gonna play him so get another one you're probably going to need also a left winger because Perisic is not that guy anymore. You also need um, uh, someone on the bench to come off for Richarlison because if they sell Harry Kane, it'll be Richarlison alone being the only striker in the squad. Well, that I know. Maybe they still have Carlos Vinicius on, on the payroll. I'm not really sure. But the point is, with 80-odd million, you can change a squad. And just don't don't be stupid. No one's going to pay 150 for an English man who is turning 30. That year, Jude Bellingham. Bellingham is the only idiot who has actually commanded 100. Oh, there's also Declan Rice. But yeah, point is, you're supposed to be a certain age for you to command 150 or 100 and whatever million. And also, you're supposed to be, you know, Ronaldo, Messi. If Messi ever transferred, you would probably be worth like three or 300 million the same amount that psg are likely to accept for uh Kylian mbappe i'm going off track but point is i predict that tottenham if they do sell harry kane and stick with richarlison tottenham will do well they won't finish in the champions league they will finish fifth at least it will be in europe and it won't be an eighth place finish there won't be any stupid results like how they fumbled both times against well, when they fumbled against Brentford, they failed to well, failed to win any single match convincingly. So, and there won't be just one person carrying it. I feel goals will be distributed around the team because, like I said, with that type of system, with a striker just pushing the defenders away from and then making a a gap in between. I'm, you know, players like I I saw Lo Celso played. I saw. Um, I don't know if Lamella, I think Lamella was sold to Villarreal, but I saw the Celso play, uh, Hoibe as well, um, yeah, I mean, players like that, the goals would be distributed, like I said, so, I pre but I, but with Richarlison, I predict that he's gonna get around 15 goals for Tottenham. Don't look at me like that, look, look, like I said. He is a tap-in merchant. He is, give him the ball, low cross it, high cross it, he's going to score. Let's not forget, again, he scored that goal at the World Cup. You just saw the first touch, chest in it. And then bro just goes and just kick that bitch. Ugh. So, you see what I'm talking about? Like, he is going to be phenomenal. Of course, he's not one who gets injured a lot. So... He just keeps his confidence up. I feel like that game against West Ham was like a confidence boost because he was... I'm pretty sure the manager told him, I want you to play like this. And he took it to a T to a point where I even started the other one. I mean, oh, it was cancer against Leicester. But point is, Richarlison will be a far better striker for Tottenham. Maybe he might score lesser goals than Harry Kane, but he will be a far better useful player. He'll be more useful around. I mean, let's not, let's not get it twisted. A striker that drops down, you know, plays one twos, get the ball up. Yeah, that's good. And still able to score 30 plus goals in consecutive seasons. That's good. But he, he, come on. Richarlison will go. Come on. 15 goals for Richarlison. Fifth for Tottenham. And um, speaking of fifth, I might actually do a Premier League um, predictions video. So, yeah, right. Tottenham fifth. Europa League, they reached the semi-finals of the FA Cup, they, uh, 
with the final of the Carabao Cup. I mean, Manchester United won the Carabao Cup, so that speaks in volumes. I'm a fan, by the way. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, by the way. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much uh, for watching. We're at 55 subscribers. Let's get to 100. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, always think that I'm crazy.